factorise 2x squared plus 7x plus 6. Okay, so we have a quadratic equation and the coefficient of the x squared is greater than 1. So we are going to factorise by grouping. So what we do is we bring down the 2x squared here and the plus 6. And then we multiply the 2 by 6 to get 12. We list out the factors of 12. They are 1 by 12, 2 by 6 and 4 by 3. Then we have a look at our factors and we want to choose uh, one of these pairs so that they add or subtract together to give us 7x. Okay, so since we have a plus here, we know that the signs are going to be the same. And since we have a plus here, we know they're going to be both plus. If this was a plus and this was a minus, they'd both be minus. And if this was a minus, there would just be different signs. So something plus something has to give us 7x. And we're going to go with 4 and 3. Because 4x plus 3x gives us 7x. Now it doesn't matter if the 4x comes first or second or the 3x comes first or second. Because we still get the same answer. So what we do is we group together the first two terms. And we factorise those. The highest common factor between 2x squared and plus 4x is going to be 2x. 2x divides into 2x squared and leaves us with x. And 2x divides into 4x twice. Check if we're right by multiplying it out. 2x by x is 2x squared. 2x by 2 is 4x. Then we take the two terms on the right hand side. And we factorise those. So we have a look and we see what will divide into 3x and also into 6. And our highest common factor is 3. 3 into 3x leaves us with x. 3 into 6 goes twice. And we multiply this out just to check. 3 by x gives us 3x. 3 by 2 gives us 6. We notice that inside both sets of brackets we have x plus 2 which is what we want. So x plus 2 is one of our factors. We then bring down the 2x and the plus 3, and 2x plus 3 is our other factor. So to factorise 2x squared plus 7x plus 6, we end up with 2x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 2. That's the answer to part A. Part B, write as a single fraction in its simplest form. We have 3 over x plus 2 plus 4x over 2x squared plus 7x plus 6. Now if you notice, this was our question to part A, and we worked that out to be this. So we can swap 2x squared plus 7x plus 6 for 2x plus 3 times x plus 2. So that's what I've done down here. I kept the 3 over x plus 2 the exact same. I brought down the plus. I kept the 4x as my numerator. So all I did was swap the 2x squared plus 7x plus 6 for 2x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 2. Okay, so this is the important bit. When we are forming our common denominator, we don't want to repeat any expression. So we should notice that we have x plus 2 and we have x plus 2. We don't use x plus 2 twice. We never repeat an expression. It would be an easy mistake to say our common denominator is x plus 2 multiplied by 2x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 2 but we don't want to use the x plus 2 twice. So we only use it once, so this literally becomes our common denominator. So our common denominator is 2x plus 2 multiplied by 2x plus 3. So then we set up the top of our fraction. We bring down the 3, and it's going to be multiplied by something. We bring down the plus, we bring down the 4x, and that's multiplied by something. Okay, so x plus 2 and x plus 2 will cancel out, leaving us with 2x plus 3, which we put up here. And then 2x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 2 divides into x plus 2 multiplied by 2x plus 3 exactly once. So it's going to be 4x multiplied by 1. So then we multiply out the top line. 3 by 2x is 6x. 3 by 3 is 9. And 4x by 1 is 4x. 6x plus 4x is 10x, and the 9 just stays as 9. And all of this is over x plus 2 
multiply by 2x plus 3. We were asked to simplify this, and this is what we ended up with. We do not multiply out the brackets, because this is already in its simplest terms. However, if we had been asked to solve, we could multiply out the brackets, simplify both sides of the equation, cross multiply, and solve for x. But we were not asked to solve, we were just asked to simplify.